Hi, Demi Jack here. Now today we're talking about GTA the remaster again as it is getting destroyed in the reviews and people are actually asking for refunds. Now let's get into it and find out what's going on with the reviews of GTA the Trilogy Remastered or Definite, whatever you want to call it, Edition. Let's get into it. The launch of GTA Trilogy Definite Edition has turned out to be a disaster. The remasters of the classic titles got one of the lowest user scores on Metacritic of all time and later went offline for three days. Players are now demanding refunds, complaining about bugs and other issues. GTA Trilogy The Definition came out November 11th. The Xbox One version received the lowest score of 0.5. 4 out of 10 on Metacritic, followed by 0.5 for PC, Xbox Series XS, and Nintendo Switch. It also got a 0.7 score for PlayStation 4, and a 0.9 score for PlayStation 5. Madden NFL 22 still remains the game with the lowest user score of all time, with 0.3. GTA The Trilogy, however, managed to beat Warcraft 3 Reforged record, which received 0.6 from players. Here are some quotes from the user reviews and we're going to read them. Okay, first one says, Well done Rockstar, this is how remasters should be done. You are equal to the best Blizzard in your case. Almost 20 years of old games, poorly remastered and the price is $60. What is even worse is that you can't even buy the originals since they removed them from all stores. Yes, they removed the originals, so you can't even buy the superior original editions. They got removed from Steam. I thought... It's impossible to make remasters worse than Warcraft 3 refunded, but Rockstar did it! The game is even worse! Low FPS, all the old bugs, plus a ton of new, horrible compressed sounds, and cherry on cake, new models and textures generated by ML looks really bad. This is the biggest video game failure on par with Cyberpunk 2077, but still of the 21st century, and you know why? Because this was made by a billion dollar company, they could have put insane amount of money into this project if they wanted, this is not some indie company. Awful job. Now this guy here, he wrote what the F is. But if you have a look here, let me just go back. Alright, so watch this, a cop will spawn right on top of him. See? Shouldn't do that. Well, Rockstar got rid of the fog in the remasters. This decision ruined the whole essence here. The game's now like scale, with a map feeling much smaller. As John Lyman from Digital Foundry pointed out, Fog was not purely a technical limit limitation, it was factored into the art decision. Now, here, as you can see, this is the map of GTA, no fog. There is legit no fog in this game of San Andreas. There should be fog. It, I can see halfway across the world. It looks like, I said this in my last GTA video, it looks like the world is flat. It looks like the world is flat, and we know the world is not flat. I'm sorry, flat earthers, but the world is not flat. It's a sphere. And that just looks wrong. It just looks wrong. And it also kind of looks cursed. Now, I'm going to legit be honest with this. If you want a refund, you're entitled to a refund. Because I'm going to cite Australian law, as I always do whenever I talk about refunds, under Australian law, you are entitled to a refund if the product isn't what was promised, or is faulty, or broken. Now as we know, this game has a lot of bugs, it has a lot of new bugs, it has a lot of stupid design decisions that just wreck the game, that I'm pretty certain Australia would count this game as broken. And then plus in our last video, as you may have noticed, we saw that the physics engine is just horrible. So I think, I think that you're entitled to a refund. If you want a refund, Rockstar's got to give you a refund under Australian law. And if you can't get a refund, you take it to the place that gets refunds. I think it's called the ACCC or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I can never remember this government organization's name. But they basically deal in refunds. I'm pretty sure it's ACCC. And they will give you your refund. Now look into it. See if you need a refund, if you need a refund, they'll give you a refund because in Australia, we care about our consumers. Now, the article did say that it's on par with Cyberpunk 2077. I actually think it's worse than Cyberpunk 2077's launch. I actually think it's worse. What do you think about it? I would like to hear your opinions. Do you think it's worse than Cyberpunk 2077? 
Do you think it's better than Cyberpunk 2077? Let me know. And I just want to say before I go, how can you screw a remaster up? You legit already have the game made. How can you screw it up? I don't get these companies screwing up remasters like Warcraft Reforged and the GTA Trilogy. I just don't get in how it can happen. I mean, you have a game to work with that is golden, golden, and still you screw it up. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, as well as, are you getting a refund on this? If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, and comment, as it helps the channel, and I'll see you all later. This is Demi Jack, signing out.